cord cutters, this one's for you. Today I'm gonna to show you how to set up Google Chromecast with Google TV and the voice remote control. Before I get started, please take a moment to subscribe to the How To Do It All channel for more helpful how-to videos. The Chromecast is a great alternative to having a cable subscription and it offers many of the same streaming apps that you may already use. So here's how to easily connect it to your TV and set it up. First thing you need to do is take it out of the box. The Chromecast with Google TV comes with the HDMI Chromecast dongle itself, a voice remote, two AAA batteries, a power cable, and a power adapter. You'll also need the Google Home app downloaded on your phone or tablet and a Wi-Fi connection. You will also need a Google account if you don't already have one. Now go ahead and put the batteries in the voice remote because you'll need it during the installation process. Plug the Chromecast into an HDMI port on your TV. Then connect the power cable to the Chromecast and plug the power cable into the power adapter. Then plug the power adapter into a wall outlet, obviously. If your TV has USB connections on the back, you might be able to plug it in there so you don't have more cables hanging down from the back of your TV. Now turn on your TV and switch the HDMI input to the HDMI port that your Chromecast is connected to. But you probably already knew that. Now you will need to pair the voice remote with the Chromecast. This might happen automatically, but if it doesn't, just follow the prompts on the screen to press certain buttons on the remote to pair it with your device. To do this, you simply press and hold the back and home buttons on your voice remote at the same time until you see a light start to pulse on the screen. When the connection is confirmed, you will see a big green check mark on your TV. Next, you can select the language you would like to use, and then you're ready to set up the Chromecast for watching stuff on your TV. Open the Google Home app on your phone or tablet and make sure you're signed into your Google account. Make sure your phone or tablet is on the same Wi-Fi network that you want to use for your Chromecast. If you already have other Google devices, they will be displayed in a list. Click on the plus button in the top left hand side of the screen. Then click on setup device, then click new device. If you already have a home setup like I do, then select home and click next at the bottom right hand side of the screen. The Google Home app will start looking for devices on your home Wi-Fi. If you don't already have a home created in the Google Home app, go ahead and set up a new home and then connect to your Wi-Fi network. Once it locates your new Chromecast, select the device that matches your Chromecast ID, which will be displayed on the screen next to a QR code. Click Next, then give your phone camera permission to scan the QR code. So I'm gonna click Next, and then I'm gonna click Scan Code. And giving it permission to access my camera. You will then be prompted to scan the QR code on the TV screen. All you need to do now is follow the setup process in the Google Home app. Accept Google's terms and conditions and agree to the additional legal terms to move forward. Choose the room in your home where the Chromecast lives. You can rename the room if you want to make it more personal like Steve's room or Den TV. Then select the Wi-Fi network that you would like your Chromecast to use all the time. Then sign into your Chromecast using your Google account login. This won't work unless your phone or tablet is connected to the same Wi-Fi as your Google Chromecast. Then you'll be asked to verify that it's actually you, so go ahead and follow the steps to verify. I'm almost on the fourth page of the script, when will it end? Once you've been verified, you can now select Google services, turn on or off Chromecast location, and turn on or off whether or not you want to help improve Chromecast. Make your selection and click Accept. You can now set up Google Assistant so you can tell the voice remote what you want to watch. That's pretty handy. Press Continue, then press Allow Google Assistant to search across all your TV apps. Now you will be asked to agree to teach your assistant to recognize your voice. Then you will be asked to agree to voice match. Press I agree to voice match. Now you will be prompted to say some phrases so Google can learn your voice. Okay Google, what's the weather tomorrow? Hey Google, set a timer for five minutes. If you already have Google Assistant on your phone or tablet, Google Assistant will already be connected so you don't need to worry about this step. Click continue and follow the prompts. Okay, we're almost there, I think, I hope. Now you will be prompted to select the services you wanna use with your Chromecast and Google TV. 
Make your selection and then on the next page you will be asked to choose an ambient mode. You can select an art gallery or connect your Google Photos account so your Google Photos images will be displayed on your TV when the Chromecast is not active. I use this to show family photos and videos every once in a while with my Chromecast. It's a handy way to show your whole family images and videos without passing around your tiny phone screen. Yeah, oh don't hit that tree. Okay, we're almost there. Once you're finished setting up ambient mode, click next and answer either no thanks or sign up for emails from Google about new hardware products and features. Finally, you confirm the summary of your Google Home setup on the Google Home app, click next and then done. Once that is done, the Chromecast will now install the streaming services you chose to add to your Chromecast earlier on in the setup process. Your screen will say, installing your apps. So sit tight and wait a little longer. We're almost there, I promise. Next, you will need to set up the remote to control your TV's volume and power. If your brand of TV is automatically detected, then click continue. The remote should set up automatically, but if it is not, select what you'd like to use to play sound, then select your model of television from the list displayed on the screen. Finally, the TV screen will now say, your Chromecast with Google TV is now ready to use. That's a lot of steps, but you should be good to go now. Now you can use the voice remote to control your TV, soundbar, or receiver if you have one. Open Disney Plus. Opening Disney Plus. Open Netflix. Opening Netflix. If you run into any issues during the setup process, you can go to the URL g.co backslash cast backslash help for troubleshooting and help information. Now any streaming app or browser like Google Chrome with the cast symbol will connect to your Chromecast so you can watch on your TV. If and when you see the cast symbol in a streaming app, click on it and then select the Chromecast you wanna to connect to. And the video content playing on your phone will now appear on your television. You can watch Google TV this way, Netflix, Amazon Prime Video, all kinds of apps, or just cast your computer screen to your TV from the Google Chrome browser. It's that easy. If you like this long ass how-to video, like, subscribe, and ring that bell for more videos from How To Do It All. And check out our video on how to cut the cord and go cable free once and for all, and thanks for watching.